When I think about what I've imagined my dream bedroom to feel like, I'm always reminded of a quote from The Hobbit that goes like this. That house was a perfect house. Whether you like food or sleep or storytelling or singing or just sitting and thinking best. Or a pleasure mixture of them all. Merely to be there was a cure for weariness. I've been living in pretty much a furnitureless bedroom for over a year and I can't even explain or put into words how excited I am to be finally creating my dream bedroom. But first, I want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. So Book of the Month is an extremely popular and a fast-growing online book subscription service for all different kinds of readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors to help readers discover new books that they might not have discovered by themselves and spend more time reading and less time trying to decide what book to read. So every month, their team vets hundreds of new and early release titles so that you get to choose from their top five picks. You can choose one or if you're like me you can choose two or three and it's completely risk-free because you can skip any month at any time and you don't get charged anything which I think is absolutely fantastic and it's one of my favorite things about book of the month so here are the book picks for this month first is in a book club far away which is a contemporary fiction novel about estranged friends reconnecting to heal past wounds in a heartwarming story of friendship forgiveness and army life too good to be true a creepy thriller that will make you wonder which of its narrators is actually telling the truth the Lost Apothecary, a historical fantasy novel about a female apothecary who secretly dispenses poison to liberate women from the men who have wronged them. The Final Revival of Opal and Neb, a historical fiction rock and roll tale with black feminist punk spirit. What's Mine and Yours, a literary fiction novel about multi-generational families living in a divided southern community. This month, if you use the code BOOKBUD, you can get your first book for only $9.99, and I will have the link and the code in my description box if you want to go check them out and get your first book for only $9.99. Now, without further ado, let's move on to creating my dream bedroom. I've always been drawn to fancy Victorian aesthetic meets Emma Woodhouse mixed with Anne of Green Gables. So I tried to plug all of that into Pinterest to kind of get an idea of key elements that the bedroom would need. I noticed a lot of wood beds, four poster beds, um, gold frames, benches at the bottom of the beds, flowers and wallpaper and wall decals and borders and just a lot of fancy type of decorations so I made a list and then I discovered this one photo that completely inspired everything else I loved everything about it the green the white the flowers the frames and so this is what I kind of used as a base for my inspiration for the entire bedroom First up were the walls. I don't know exactly what these are called, but we got them for $3 each from Lowe's. And the plan is to use them to section off each wall into two sections so that we can put wallpaper on the top section and keep the white color on the bottom. We 
decided to paint them the same color white that we already had in the room. And then I had to put on a Studio Ghibli film because to me, springtime is my favorite time to watch Studio Ghibli. We got this wallpaper from Amazon for $10 per roll and I think we ended up getting 14 rolls and that's pretty cheap for wallpaper. I originally did want to paint but since we're renting that wasn't really an option. Putting up the wallpaper was so challenging, especially in the beginning. There was definitely a learning curve. It was super thin, like paper thin and hard to work with, mm -hmm. but Jared eventually figured it out and actually got pretty good at it. I, I kind of just smoothed out the bubbles and he did the rest. Day two was thrifting day, my favorite day. 80% of our furniture and decor is already thrifted. It's my absolute favorite way to shop and it's also way less expensive and better for the environment, so it's a win-win. You don't have to spend lots of money on furniture to make a space look nice. So we headed out in search of frames because I want to do a gallery wall and then trees and little trinkets for the bookshelves, candle holders, and shelves. So I found these shelves for a couple dollars each. I love the floral detailing on this one. And then I found this lamp for $3, which is such a good deal. This one was $2.50 and this, I don't really know what to call it, flower pot, it was $2. And then these candle holders were $1.50 each. These trinkets were each a dollar. And then I found so many frames and they ranged from $1.50 to $10. This one is my absolute favorite and it was only $10. Can you believe it? $10 and it's the most perfect, beautiful painting and I'm going to put it right above the bed. Just rip it. No, 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 you don't want to rip it. Watch it snooze. Beautiful. Give me sandpaper. Sandpaper? Sandpaper? I get it, I get it. Wait, I don't know where it is. Do you know where it is? No. <laughs> it's in the closet. I got it. I got it, I got it. I got it. Everywhere. It was super easy to put these up because we just put these little sticky things on the back and then stuck them to the wall and they instantly made such a big difference. The room suddenly felt much more elegant and fancy. It took us two full days, but the walls were finally done, and I was getting so excited. Yeah! We did it. Oh my gosh. Ready? 
Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall. Oh, ready? Oh. Oh. for your hard work on this room and you, I, I don't know, I don't know what else to do. You are an honorary, uh, an amazing renovator and Thank interior um, a decorator. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you may now rise. Ready? What am I doing? Now you must catch huh? the princess. I know, oh, I'm actually gonna jump. Can huh? you get me? Can yeah. you get me? Are you sure? Jump. <laughs> <laughs> recording. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Today is furniture day and I made myself some new tea this morning and there's a dog here. I just made the best. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, so this is my favorite tea, but I did something different this morning. I added in this milk. Oh, I need to show you one thing. Cool. This, uh, this, this milk. It's this blueberry lavender flavored almond milk from Trader Joe's. I put this milk in instead of my regular almond milk in. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it's like, it's like blueberry pancakes in my mouth, but it's, it's like a lemon tea, so it's also like lemony, but I know that doesn't really sound good, like lemon blueberry pancakes, but it's so good, oh my gosh. Sometimes I slurp my tea like. And you gotta do that little sigh after. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me feel more like I'm enjoying it. So good. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited because we've been working for days on the walls and it's finally time for furniture. What? Yeah, why am I still holding the milk? So, let's get started. Um, I'm just so excited. This is my dream bedroom and it's finally coming together. So, I just, okay, let's just go get started. I'm gonna go get Jared. decide if we want to put the bed in the middle of the room or put it over towards the side because over here you can see there's this light gonna, that's coming in from the window and around like two or three o'clock it is so beautiful and I want to have like a chair sitting there in the light where Jared is but I don't know because I feel like with a four poster bed it needs to be in the middle of the room and not off to the side I don't know but I just I love light so much hopefully it will be okay being on the side We'll see. Okay, I'm sweating. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Here, I'll come in. That's what she said. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Must be two of those things. How did that even happen? We'll just set it up, but we won't. Uh, it's like it doesn't even it. happen in shipping. 
thing. It's like it was already broken before. Because, like, how? How, yeah, how, how would that inside piece break? The inside piece. Oh. When everything else was coated around like bubble wrap. What was that? We got it up, but the only thing I'm sad about is that I was going to stain this wood to match my bed frame, and now I can't because we have to return it, so it's not gonna match. But that's okay. It's still really nice, and I really like it. But hopefully they can send us one that is not broken. <laughs> This chair was one that we already owned. I got it last year from a thrift store for $25. It's in perfect condition and one of my favorite pieces of furniture that we own. She's just beautiful and the perfect cozy reading chair. And then we found this bookcase at a thrift store for $35 and I couldn't decide where I wanted it to go. It didn't really seem to fit anywhere. And I'm really indecisive when it comes to furniture arrangement, but I ended up really liking it in the corner like this. And then we brought in my desk that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $75. So, I'm slowly making my way through the furniture and decorating it, and then... Oh, you coming to see me? You're crawling under the bed. Come here. And lay down. Stay. Not the yogurt. Okay. So, I have been wanting bookshelves for over a year. We moved here over a year ago, and I've never had bookshelves, and my books have all just been hanging out around my room and the apartment, which is fine. I love to see them everywhere, but... I finally found this bookshelf for $35 and it doesn't, it only has two shelves, but I actually prefer it that way because it gives me more room and freedom to decorate it and like hang flowers in it and, oh hi. <laughs> and then I think I'm still gonna put some books around the room because I, I kind of got in the habit of placing them just wherever and I actually think it looks really nice for them not to have a proper space. It just feels like anywhere you go you can just pick up a book and you don't have to go over to a bookshelf. So I am still going to just kind of put them around my room but I will put some of my favorites on here. I have so many nice books so I'm really excited to finally have a place to put them. Like I have this really pretty edition of Little Women and then I also have this old edition of Pride and Prejudice. I have another nice little women i'm kind of obsessed my beautiful edition of the hobbit that i got for christmas i also have so many different editions of anne of green gables Ooh, the tenant of Wildfell well hall literally the best bronte book in my opinion it is so good so 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 good everybody talks about jane Eyre and wuthering heights but if you haven't read the tenant of Wildfell well hall then you're really really missing out in my opinion oh there's a lot to do let's Get started. I'm gonna finish my yogurt. Not not for you, but sorry. this space on the windowsill so I added a picture frame a jewelry box that I've had since I was a kid some of my favorite springtime classics um, and then I got this duvet cover from Amazon for $85 I love the vintage floral design and the colors it's exactly what I wanted and it also came with a really nice pillow cover I got this lamp at the thrift store for $12 and this end table slash nightstand on Facebook Marketplace for $25, which was such a steal because it's an antique that's in mint condition and the lady that we got it from said it was about 80 years old. And then on the nightstand, I decorated with some artwork, dried flowers, candles, jewelry box, and some of my favorite classics. And I also added this vintage 1950s eye mask that I sometimes use while sleeping. Then 
then I used the same paint that matches our wall color and painted this plant holder to get rid of the burnt terracotta color. Um, it wasn't the best paint job that I could have done, but I can always go back and touch it up later. Then I took these flowers that I got and decided to remove some of the colors and keep it more simple and stick to a color palette of green, white, pink, and a bit of blue and purple. And then I added in these extra white flowers that I got at Walmart for $10. top shelf. I really like how it came out. I used a few photos from Pinterest of cute bookshelves. I really like it. I love how it turned out. Some people might not be their style, but I, I kind of love the organized mess style of it. So now we are on to this one. And I'm watching Tuck Everlasting because I always watch this during spring and summer. It gives me all of the spring summer cottagecore vibes. It's so good, but okay. Okay, let's get started. I didn't get to finish the bottom part of my bookshelf, but it is getting late. The sun is going down and I really hope we get a sunset tonight. I could go throughout my day having like a really crappy day, but if I get to watch the sunset, it just it gives me so much happiness. So I think I'm going to finish filming for today. I've also used my second battery and my other one is only halfway charged now. So I think I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow, but I love how the flowers turned out. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go finish watching Tuck Everlasting because I am exhausted. I will see you tomorrow for hanging up all of the beautiful paintings and frames and all of the final touches. So I'm excited. of decorating and mostly we're going to be hanging all of these frames today. I'm so excited about some of these, look how beautiful. I got every single one of these at my local thrift store for, I think the most expensive one was $10 and the cheapest was like 50 cents. I do have a goal picture that I found on Pinterest. It's this one and I love how it has the frames kind of staggered above the bed frame. So that's what I'm gonna do with some of my bigger ones. And then I want to create a type of gallery wall. I saw this picture and a few others on Pinterest and I fell in love with just kind of like an organized mess of a gallery wall and I wanna put that above my desk. So that's what I'm gonna focus on the majority of today. But before we continue, I wanna show you something that I grabbed at the thrift store this morning. I ran there to get a few more frames and I found this, I'm gonna go grab it. I saw the worker go and put it down and I instantly ran over because I just thought it was a picnic basket. But little did I know, that it opens up. There are glasses. There are even like, there's a used box of candles. <laughs> and there are plates. And it's beautiful. 
There's a little bit of staining over here, but that's okay. It means it had a life before me. And that just makes me so happy knowing that I found somebody else's treasure and I get to give it a new life. So I cannot believe I found this for only $10. That's crazy to me. I love thrift stores. And then I was walking down an aisle looking at the teacups and this lady walked down and she goes, excuse me. And then she hands me these. And she goes, do you want these? I found them and I don't think I would actually fully appreciate them and you look like the type of person who would like these so you can you can have them and I was like oh my gosh yes they're so beautiful they have these fake butterflies they're not real and then um, some orange flowers and they're so cute exactly what I was looking for all right let's get hanging these frames I'm gonna have to have Jared come and help me a lot because these some of these are really really heavy <laughs> After getting this shelf, I decided that I wanted to be able to hang flowers from it. So I stuck on some of these hooks and then I could hang my dried flowers. And by this point in the day, it was getting really late. So I just decided to clean up and save the final reveal for the following day. don't even have words. I'm in love. <laughs> Can you even be in love with the room? Because that's truly how I feel. Um, it turned out so much better than I even imagined. It feels like an oasis, like my own personal light academia Victorian hobbit hole. The crazy amazing thing is that we did this for about $500. If you're willing to take time, I've spent months collecting some of these items, you really can create something beautiful. One of my favorite parts is the gallery wall. I feel like it brings so much personality to the room. My favorite is probably the framed baby's breath and I do want to eventually add more photos to the bottom and top but it still works the way it is and the frames above my bed turned out pretty much exactly like the inspiration photo and I think the gold looks so nice against the sage green and the only things that I got that weren't from Facebook marketplace or the thrift store would be the bed bench, um, the duvet cover, wallpaper, flower fairy postcards, fake flowers, and the wood that we got from Lowe's. And then for the bottom of my bookshelf, my creative juices just were running a bit dry. So I put in some books and some items from my childhood, and then I hung up some flowers to dry on some of this lace. I just can't believe it's mine. I get to live here. I get to live in this dream bedroom that makes me feel more myself than anywhere I've ever lived. It just feels like truly coming home. <laughs>